Hiya fishy folks, happy Fry Fry Friday to ya. Hope everyone has some nice fishy plans for the weekend. I myself don't have anything special. May or may not come down here, may or may not work on tanks. Don't know. Anyway, today I want to talk about guppy fry and how to raise them. I get asked this question quite a few times, a couple times a week usually. And uh, the question is usually, my guppies just had babies, what do I do? And it's not rocket science, so let's, we're just going to keep it simple. First thing is, you, if you want the fry to survive, you're going to either need to take them out of the tank, take mom and dad and all the, or, or all the other adult fish out of the tank, or take the babies out of the tank, or give them plenty of hiding spots. And that's what I do. In all my uh, guppy breeding tanks, there's a ton of java moss. And uh, that gives them a place to hide. Mama will go in there, drop her fry. The fry will hang out in there until they're big enough to venture out. And um, if they do venture out and mom or dad or one of the other adult fish is hungry and wants a snack, they can dart right back in there and hide. So you got to give them a place to hide. The second thing that the java moss or live plants in general does is uh, gives them something to eat on all day. The little microorganisms growing on that moss, they'll nibble on. And that, uh, that helps them grow faster and obviously survive. So speaking of feeding, there's a couple different foods you can feed, a couple different options. Um, I like to start out with frozen cyclops. Um, that may or may not be available to you. So you can just use a um, specific food for fry. This is New Life Spectrum Grow. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. It's good stuff. It's got like 46% protein. You want high protein for your fry to help them grow faster. Um, and I, I mean, I like it. If you put too much in, it'll cloud your water. So you really don't want to do that. Um, you just got to put a little bit in. It kind of floats on the surface. It's like dust if you haven't seen it. Let me uh, let me show you, see if you can see that. See, it's, it's kind of like dust. Um, one of the big fish manufacturers is working on some other food and uh, they send it to me and you can see it's a little bit bigger it's it's a little bit bigger than the powder um it's about 0.3 millimeters that other stuff is less than one probably um, i kind of like that better but i don't know if that's going to come to market the other thing you can feed there's two other things you can feed you can hatch uh baby brine shrimp that's probably one of the best things for fry this is um san francisco bay brand it's just a little little tube filled with the eggs and you know you have the hatchery and whatever probably have a video on that at some point soon the other thing and what i like to feed uh primarily is flake food and you might be saying to yourself flake food you know flakes are big let me show you you know you get course everyone i grab breaks you get that's big right well even if you put that in there they will nibble on it throughout the day as it breaks down and gets softer but what i like to do is crush the flake up really fine so what i've been using lately is uh ocean nutrition discus flake and uh, there will be a link in the description below i like the ingredients um in it which i'll talk about in a second but it's got almost 52 percent crude protein and a very low ash content uh, which is important. So the ingredients, the first ingredient is dried fish protein digest, which sounds mm, yummy, but I had no idea what it was. So I emailed the company, what is dried fish protein digest? And the third ingredient is wheat gluten. The second one is salmon, which is fine. So I asked, you know, why? And uh, basically what they said was dried fish protein digest is as gross as it sounds in ocean nutrition brand it's human it's a human grade product and it's the same stuff that uh they put in like um protein shakes for bodybuilders so it can't be that bad right um it's they t basically take out the skin and bones of the fish and because that creates phosphates and they'll keep the high protein stuff that's left and use that in fish food and i mean if bodybuilders use it for high protein shakes it's probably not bad right uh then i asked about wheat gluten and because i'm pretty sure wheat gluten isn't found you know in the natural habitat of guppies or discus in this case and basically they need the wheat gluten to keep the flake together 
Um, they've over the years they've lowered the amount of wheat gluten in their flake, but I'm talking Ocean Nutrition now. I don't know about the other guys, uh, but they do need it. They have been working on some other formulas. Unfortunately, uh, nothing's really come out from it just yet. So that's what it is. So discus flake. Uh, what I do is I take some of this discus flake and I just crush it up. I usually crush it right in the can, um, but I just want to show you what I do here. So you take it and it's just really fine. And then you just, you just put it in the water and the fishies eat it. I'm going to put some over here and then put some over here. And uh, that's how I feed them. The other thing you're going to need and what I get asked a lot is what filter should I use? A lot of people, if they just have one tank, they'll have a hang in the back, hang on the back. Perhaps they'll have a small canister filter. Uh, but I happen to love sponge filters. And <clears throat> this is the size I love. There will be a link in the description below for this filter. You can see this is well used. Um, Actually, I just cleaned it, but, you know, like all this algae and stuff, the fish will nibble on that too. But um, the reason I like this is, just as I said, whatever is sucked up into this thing, the the fry can pick on and eat. Usually I have plecos in my tank. They'll also eat whatever is growing on this. But this can't kill a fry. If you have a hang in the back and it gets sucked up, it's gone probably. Now, you could put a intake uh, sponge on that, and that will also increase surface area. For beneficial bacteria but i don't run hanging the backs i run sponge filters so that's what i like for filtering all right fishy folks uh i think that does it for how to raise guppy fry it's not rocket science don't beat yourself up over it if you have any questions please leave a comment in the description below uh and i'll answer it or email me michaelsfishroom at gmail.com don't forget to check out the website michaelsfishroom.com Use promo code SPRING18 for 18% off your entire purchase, including shipping. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope you all... What is... What is this? What? Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Mushmouth to you. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry 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 Jesus Christmas. Why can't I speak? Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope you have some nice fishy plans this weekend. I myself probably will not be down here very much. It's supposed to be a fairly nice weekend and it's the first nice weekend in like 62 years so <clears throat> probably do, do why did i clear my throat so loud <laughs> good morning fishy folks happy fry fry friday to you hope everyone has some good fishy plans for the weekend i may or may not be down in the fish room doing things i really don't know sometimes life gets in the way what can i say so in today's exciting fry fry friday video we are going to learn about how to raise whatever I... Hi, fishy folks. This is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. And of course you know who I am because you watch my channel and you've clicked on the thing and... Bleh.